So hello guys. Today's video is about what I have been working on for the past two weeks. I've refinished my kitchen cabinets. They had thermofoil on them, which I took off, and I painted them with chalk paint. So I hope you enjoy. So my new project is I'm going to repaint my kitchen cabinets. As you can see, they're white and beige and I want them all white. Um, I've already started one. This is where the door was, but I had to put that up because of the cats. But these cabinets doors have something called thermoform on them and you have to take a hot air gun and pull it off. And I will show you a video of that later. This is the video taking off the thermofoil. I did speed it up because it took about four minutes total. I'm getting ready to paint these two. Um, there's some that I took the thermofoil off a couple of days ago. And I have learned that's the better way to do it, is to pull it off and let it sit for a couple of days. And then the glue dries back and it's easier to sand it off. And then you can put um, your paint on top. So that's what I'm heading to do now. Okay, now I am getting ready <clears throat> to paint these. They've been sitting for a day after taking off the thermofoil. Um, I like chalk paint. That is what I use on most everything I do. Um, it is a thicker paint. Um, this is the one I'm using now. It's Debbie's. Design Diary DIY, and the color is Vintage Linen. Um, it's good, um, but like with all chalk paint, it is thicker. So you need to put like one thin, thick coat, and then a second coat. I always do a second coat. It makes it look better. Depending on your product, uh, you may need more than two coats. You'll have to look at it and decide. And then I'm going to put two coats of the polysilic um, clear satin. And um, so then we should be good to go. Oh, and I forgot to tell you about this brush I'm using. These are some new brushes I just got. I got them off Amazon. They come in a package of like 15, I think. It is the best brush I have found. I have looked at many brushes and used many, and this is my favorite. I did want to give you a few tips on painting with chalk paint because it is thicker, so it is a little different. One thing I wanted to show you is when you paint, You'll see there are lines from the brush in your paint. And that seems to always happen no matter what kind of brush you use. I've done it many ways. So what I do is put a good coat on. Just do it any way you want to. Get your coat on really good. And then after you've got your coat on there really good, go back and do one swipe all the way without stopping that way you don't see 
all of that. You're still going to see brush strokes, but it won't be as many brush strokes. So this is what it looks like after one coat. See how you can see the um, brush strokes some? It'll get better on the second coat, and I will show you that. So this is two coats. And the lines aren't as bad, but you can still see the brush strokes a little. I did want to put a video of this. My brother-in-law suggested I put up tape, we put the sticky side on the outside so that the cats won't go in. And it is working, yahoo! So I have finished and here's what it looks like. I think it looks pretty good.